This is a battle in round 3 of the Exploit Flash tournament. Blade Master of the Wolf Clan commanding Chimera versus Magma of the Sith Clan commanding Sparta. Chimera is Chimera and Sparta is Sparta. <laughs> so it looks like we have a Spartan Nomad alliance against um, against the Parthian. Uh, Par Parthian uh, Chimerian Alliance. For Sparta, we have five Step Noble Lancers, a mix of Helot Archers and Gorgos. In the center, we have six Spartan Noblites. Then we have two Royal Spartans. For Blade Master and Chimeria, we have uh, step three Step Horse Archers. We have a total of six Eastern Cataphracts, which I quite like that choice against Sparta. Decisive cavalry advantage for uh, Chimeria. He also has six Step Spearmen, some of them with uh, chevrons. And we can't see it yet, but he also has a very strong skirmishing line of Chimerian Heavy Archers and uh, Step Archers. All 40 missile damage, all very dangerous. They don't have, uh, they have uh, the, the uh, Chimerian Heavy Archers, the only downside to them is that they don't have, well they have great armor, they have spears, 30 bonus against large, uh, good range, but uh, good missile damage, but they don't have heavy shot, and that kind of uh, limits their effectiveness against uh, the very high armor of the Spartans, they can still do a lot of damage firing into the unshielded side. So, Blade Master getting some early volleys off from the Helot Archers, baiting the fire from the Helots very nicely. And just using his using his Scythians to surround the Spartan advance, which is going to be potentially allow him to do a lot of damage in the late game. Sparta is obviously want to go want to going to want to rush the hell out of this. If Sparta manages to tie down the Cataphracts and then support with its uh, and then support with his Hoplites right away, this Chimeria build is going to disappear. But Sparta needs to keep its its uh, cavalry for the late game as well, because if these skirmishers of Blade Master are left unchecked in the late game, they can do so much damage. But we'll see what the what the plan is here. Sparta just walking up, not wanting to fatigue anything. And one of the things about Chimeria is that while Chimeria has decent hoplites and good foot skirmishers, they lack strong melee cavalry, and that is disastrous for any faction that relies on on um, skirmishing power to kill their enemies. So I quite like what Blade Master did here in bringing these C six Eastern Cataphracts, and especially against Sparta. Sparta is going to have a hoplite core, and when Sparta brings units from a Nomad roster. One of the ways of getting an advantage over the potential cavalry is to bring these uh, Eastern Cataphracts. Uh, the Step Horse Archers are taking some fire from uh, Gorgos. Harder to bait missiles from Gorgos than it is from Helot Archers. But here the Step Horse Archers are able to get some kills against the Gorgos. Into their unshielded side. And I am a bit surprised now that Blade Master doesn't start pulling away. Uh, it looks like Blade Master actually wants to take the engagement frontally. And more fire from the Gorgos incoming against the Step Horse Archers. But it looks like Blade Master, Blade Master is using his, uh, his Step Horse Archers reasonably well here. Getting some damage done to the Gorgos and the Helots. Baiting fire from the Helots, very di uh, very difficult to use 125 range archers against uh, against uh, horse archers that are microed well. Blade Master is microing his. Uh, oh, it looks like we ha might have the main engagement starting. Blade Master pushing up his step spearmen to uh, function as a screen, pouring the fire into the step noble lancers, going into square. He is going to block the charge of his units with the square, but he's also going to be able to get into the step. Noble Lancers uh, do a lot of damage to them and also stop them from stop them from getting to Blade Master skirmishers. So the step, step uh, oh, very nicely done here by Blade Master. He's going to just 
uh, charge these skirmishers simultaneously front and back and that's going to destroy the helots and the gorgos very nicely done step horse archers doing so much impact damage here and and even getting some kills done in melee so while the main engagement is starting here blade master is cleaning up the skirmishers of uh, of sparta also managing to take care of quite a few quite a few uh, step lancers the Spartan advance is going to be kept in check by these squares of Step Spearmen. They're not really going to get kills, but they're going to be able to hold for quite some time. Looks like they're actually getting some kills against the Step Noble Lancers, because a 30 bonus versus large is just massive for these Spearmen. These Step Archers could get wrecked now by Step Nobles. Ooh, Chimera and Heavy Archers getting hit by Step Nobles in the rear. The Step Noble Lancers could start taking damage from the Chimera and Heavy Archers if they get their spears out in time, but uh, before they do that, the Eastern Cataphracts are going to roll in and hit the Step Noble Lancers. The Step Noble Lancers are continuing down the line of Chimera and Heavy Archers, taking a lot of casualties while they do so. These, uh, these Step Horse Archers have done a lot of killing against the... Spartan uh, Spartan skirmishers now they're able to finish off these step noble lancers that retreat So I quite like what blade master did here in keeping his skirmishers in the back of uh, Sparta so that any step lancers trying to cycle charge would get hit by two sides from skirmishers It's sort of a clusterfuck in blade masters lines as well now because Spartan Hoplites are starting to break through, Blade Master is losing Catapacts, he's losing Skirmishers, but he is able to kite back fairly effectively here, and um, he needs to finish off the Step Noble Lancers. If he kills the Step Noble Lancers, and he has a few Eastern Cataphracts left, he can cycle charge these Spartan Hoplites to death. Step Horse Archers, not using Heavy Shot, well they are using Heavy Shot now, so they're going to be able to do a lot of damage to the Spartan Hoplites. And these Step Spearmen being super annoying, not really getting a lot of killing done, but but they are holding off some very important units. Here are the Step Noble Lancers, could sneak past here, but nope, they're getting hit by Eastern Cataphracts. Eastern Cataphracts are going to destroy Step Noble Lancers on the charge. And while Step Noble Lancers are very cheap, very potentially very cost effective, they are also super fragile um, with their only 40 armor. Great charge bonus, great mass, but only 40. Uh, Blade Master needs to be a bit careful with the Step Horse Archers here, because these Halot Archers um, and Gorgos are coming back. So, uh, another charge, and these units are off the field. Looks like he's going to do that just now, so... Step Horse Archers being used very effectively here as, uh, as light melee cavalry, actually. And not a whole lot of uh, skirmishing or... Cavalry left for Sparta now, and Sparta without skirmishers or uh, cavalry against cavalry is a bad time for Sparta, especially when the cavalry is Eastern Cataphracts. Eastern Cataphracts can just cycle charge rapidly against Sparta and just destroy isolated Hoplite units. So very nice kills here on these uh, Step Horse Archers due to Blade Master using them in both in melee and to fire. This is excellent use of, uh, of Step Horse Archers. Instead of just firing for an extended time at the skirmishers, he's both firing and charging into melee and destroying units, so very nice. Uh, Sparta is going to try to go into defensive formation in the center here, but they're being fired on from all sides. Uh, Blade Master not really doing a good job of firing into unshielded sides. Here he's firing into the shield. Uh, well, this is actually the unshielded side of the Royal Spartan, so this is fine. But he's also firing into the front of them. Instead of just firing into the backs. But now he's getting some good angles because the Royal Spartan's turned around. So... The Royal Spartan should go down uh, quite convincingly. Just finish up these few units of Spartan Hoplites that have gotten isolated and the Hoplite box is not going to be able to hold at all against uh, Cataphracts. Pike boxes work, Hoplite boxes very rarely work. Even though these Royal Spartans have expert charge defense, 
uh, if Blade Master just finishes off the other Hoplite units, he's not really going to be able to defend himself from rear charges or getting shot to pieces. He is already getting shot to pieces, and very nice kills on the Step Horse Archers of uh, of uh, Blade Master. Doing so much damage to the Spartan Hoplites. And now Blade Master is doing a good job of firing into the backs of Royal Spartans. Forty missile damage to the back really, really hurts, even if you're a Royal Spartan. Now these Hoplite units are holding out, charged by the Noble Horse Archers into Spartan Hoplites. Should finish off the unit. Uh, 52 melee attack on this unit is massive. Going straight for another charge against the Spartan Hopites over here. This unit should break momentarily. The Royal Spartans have had enough. They want a piece of the action. Nice charge into the Spartan Hopites. Another nice charge into to moving Spartan Hopites. Another charge into Spartan Hopites. This is going to be the end of the Spartans. Getting cycle charge into oblivion by the Eastern Cataphracts of Chimeria. And there is really nothing Sparta can do at this point. Sparta can just stand and take the abuse. Which is basically what Sparta does best. It's quite funny that Sparta is most well known for its uh, one of its more heroic defeats. It could be argued that Thermopylae was a strategic victory, uh, but uh, a defeat nonetheless, but a strategic victory in the uh, in the wars that followed. Sort of losing the battle, winning the war type of thing. No doubt a heroic sacrifice by the Spartans and the other Greeks who fought there. And now the Eastern Cataphracts are doing their bloody work. So much wavering going on for the Spartan units. Step Spearman being able to get in and rout some Spartans. That's their finest hour. The Royal Spartans losing decisively, wavering to army losses. There's just so much Chimeria left on the field now for Blade Master. The last Spartans break and game. So, a costly victory for Blade Master. Uh, he's used his Step Horse Archers really well. I like the idea with the Step Spearman Squares holding off the Spartan advance while he dealt with the cavalry. Very nicely done against the skirmishers of uh, Sparta. And uh, this Chimera build is quite scary with the six Eastern Cataphracts and the four Horse Archers. So, Blade Master advances to the next round. Strength and honor.